welcome back to my channel my name is lena and this is diamonds and sparkles and in this video today i'm bringing to you my monthly overview now this is not the first month where i am making diamond painting videos but i started at the very very end of december of last year which um, you know, it was not an entire month and I was coming back into diamond painting after a very long period of time where I really didn't do much. So um, even though this is, this could be technically my second month, like I started in December, but I only uploaded like two videos. Um, this January, it's like my first official month, like from beginning to end. And I decided to go through a little of the things that I made. And one of the things that I wanted to make this video is because I want to make goals for myself. I didn't start the year or January um, with goals because this was going to be the first month in a very, very long time where I um, kind of stuck with diamond painting and also that I felt more um, kind of this motivation to keep working on my diamond painting because I decided to create this video. I decided to create this, I mean, this, this channel to share um, my enjoyment of the craft. So having said that, we're, oh, <laughs> having said that, we're going to go through um, some of my steps and some of the things that I want to be tracking every single month. The very first one is how many kits did I finish on the month of January. So I finished three kits and those three kits are the ones that I'm going to be introducing you to and going a little bit over them. And just before I start going over them, this is where I track my diamond paintings. Now, all of my diamond paintings that are licensed because I do um, do budget kits, but I'm only doing uh, post reviews of my licensed kits. The ones that I do that are budget ones, I don't give them a lot of exposure. I just say like, I do them and you know, it keeps me entertained and it keeps me doing the craft whenever I don't have, uh, you know, a, a canvas or, you know, for any reason. And all the details about this specific, all the specifics about a certain diamond painting, they're going to be in their own video. And again, as long as they are licensed kits. Now, Right now, the only license kits that I've worked with are from Diamond Art Club. That is basically because Diamond Art Club was the very first company that I uh, get, got to know that made license kits and kits of this, you know, better quality. And right now, as my budget is not very extensive, I have decided that for now, what I want to do is just keep with what I know, which is Diamond Art Club. I am dying, like really, really, I am craving to just explore so many other companies, but at the moment I do not have the budget um, and it's something that I would really, really like to get into. Looking forward, I have my eye on a few kits from a few places like Oroloa, like um, Dreamer Designs, um, also from Jaded Gem Shop, I think it's the name, if I'm not, if I'm remembering if I'm remembering correctly, you know, those are just a few of the places where I really, really want to dive into, but right now is not yet the time for me personally, but I would love it, to be honest. I would just love it. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to go with the very first kit that I finished. Now, now this very first kit is a budget canvas, um, but it is also a solid image. Now, this kit was purchased in particular with one idea in mind, and that was to make a video kind of comparing budget kits with licensed, um, you know, companies where they make licensed um, art into diamond paintings. And I went a little over all of the details that I look into whenever I am diamond painting. And this was purchased just because of that. I actually, the second canvas that I finished is, you know, this image, but in licensed image, a bigger image and all of that jazz. But yeah, this one, it took me, of course, I did not do a post review of this one in particular. And this took me seven hours and 40 minutes to complete. Like the second canvas that I finished and is not going to fit entirely on, on, you know, on screen, but this was the second kit that I finished 
in 2023. Now this one was a whip that I carried over from December 2023, but I feel really confident in, you know, counting this as my first because it, it was my, my actual first, what I actually consider my first finish of 2024. And because I started it at the very end of December 2023, which was um, December 27th. So, you know, all the details about this kit in particular, all my thoughts and everything um, are going to be in their particular video, which, you know, is, is in my page. I will try to remember <laughs> to link it down below or somewhere over, you know, over here, but I forget, I oftentimes forget, and I need to have this constantly in my mind and make it a habit, basically. But yeah, this was my second kit that I finished this month. I loved it. I honestly, it's been one of my favorites. I mean, I think that every canvas that I finish becomes my new favorite, but this made me discover that I really enjoy this kind of color palette. So it was a great discovery for me. I enjoyed it so, so, so much. And I cannot wait to work either on a canvas by the same artist or, you know, this color palette. Now, get ready for my third finish. This is definitely not going to fit in screen. Like, if the other didn't fit, this, um, it's going to be a problem with this because this is, like, almost double the size. I mean, not really double, but, yeah, it's quite large. This is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And again, I do have a post review of this canvas in my channel. And there I go with um, through all of the details about what I liked, what I thought could be different, what I did enjoy as much as I thought I would. But, you know, overall, it was a kit that I loved. Um, I always say that Harry Potter is like my first true love regarding hobby wise you know being a potterhead and all of that so i really really enjoyed this and it was way way less overwhelming than i thought it would be knowing that is 70 centimeters by 99 centimeters if you really want to go um to do one of these at least this one uh, i would say go ahead because it gets simpler and less overwhelming once you consider that <laughs> the entirety of the border is just color blocking all the four ways so the image gets actually kind of reduced if you think about it but yeah this was my third finish but what i would consider my second finish and this one was also a whip that i carried over from um december 2023 into january 2024 and as you can see over here i started it on december 28th so i don't really feel that bad about it um because I started it at the end of the month. So I am feeling great about this. Now let's go over to the whip that I am carrying over. This is my whip. This is a kit that is from a budget place. You know, it's a budget kit. I got it off of Timu. I have a video right here in my channel where I go through all of the points that I consider when I, when I go and buy a budget kit. It's not my preferred method of, you know, my, my preferred method, not my, um, yeah, I have gotten a little bit used to the quality canvases, at least Diamond Art Club, that's what I know right now. But as I said, my budget right now is not very flexible, so I have to make do with what I have. So um, I decided that I wanted to try some budget canvases um, to purchase them as ethically and morally as I possibly could just to make just to you know one make my my license kits last a little longer and you know stretch the time that i work on those and enjoy them more but still do the craft the amount of time and uh, that i basically want to so this is the kit that i'm carrying over from january to february i think i'm gonna be able to finish it in the very first days of february so that is great that is amazing and so far, you know, the image is not that bad. Also, I really want to state this, that when I got this diamond painting with this image, I could not find this artwork anywhere. So that made me think that it was either a stock image or um, an AI, AI, artificial, yes, AI uh, created image or, you know, a combination of both. Every time 
and this is something that I really, really want to try to remember every time that I mention a budget canvas in any of my videos, is that if by some reason you see this is special artwork um, from a specific artist or something, please, please, please let me know. Because trust me, whenever I get these, there, it's just for you know the enjoyment of keep doing the craft and make my 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 high quality canvases last longer and you know enjoy them a little more but truly if you find this anywhere just please let me know so i can you know um don't showcase it anymore <laughs> basically but that's um a disclaimer that i really want to you know just put out there so now i um want to go through one of the things that I was going to track because I really, really wanted to know some details about this, and that is how uh, how much time do I work on diamond painting? You know, every day, every week, and at the end of the month, every single month. I was expecting this month to have more hours than it ended up having. Um, and in this month, at the end, I ended up working on diamond painting for 83 hours and 52 minutes. I honestly believed that I was going to be able to reach 100 hours. I didn't think it was going to be a problem. That was, I mean, I didn't have like a goal specifically, but that was, that number was what I was striving for. But that did not happen. Basically because from, let me check from where, because my mind is blurry at the time. Yeah, from Thursday the 25th up until today, I have not been able to work on diamond painting at all, which is basically an entire week or at least, yeah, almost an entire week. And that is because, you know, sometimes things happen that are out of your hands and at the end, diamond painting is a hobby and sometimes responsibilities just struck and you have to have priorities. Even though I love diamond painting, of course, there are certain situations and certain things in life that will definitely have more priority than diamond painting so i am not um like bashing myself at all about the fact that i did not hit that very um like not really a goal that i had but didn't but was a number that i was striving for so that is absolutely fine now knowing all of the things um all of these things i do have some goals and right now i only have two goals, one pertaining to my um, diamond painting hours and other to how much progress I want to make in which canvases. So the very first goal that I have is to finish this whip from, you know, from, this is the whip that I'm carrying over from January to February. And um, I am definitely gonna be able to finish this one. And also I have another two kits that I have uh, that are budget kits. I also would like to finish maybe another one of those kits. I have one more like um, almost the same width but a little bit taller and oh, and, and another one that is um, smaller. I think it's like um, the canvas is 30 by 30 but you know the the actual image is more like 25 by 25 or something like that. So I think that's going to be a very quick one. It has colors that I have not worked with before. So for budget kits, that's my goal, to finish this one and the small one, the one of the B. The second um, goal, you know, canvas related, I would like to make at least 80% progress with my kit of flower delivery. I'm going to put an image here. I mean, you all know it, but, you know, just so you know, I have not kitted up. I have not... I have not started it and we are on January the 31st, but I would really, really like to um, reach the 80% goal. Is it going to be possible? I'm still not sure because, you know, family things and this urgent matter that suddenly popped up um, is still unresolved, is on its way, but, you know, there are things that you cannot really control exactly. So if that doesn't happen, it's absolutely fine. These are just, um, these are not goals not goals that are like I have to meet them. No, it's just like um what I would like to achieve. If I do more or if I do less is absolutely fine. Now regarding my hours, I wanted to put this month and try to make the hundred hours, but I'm not gonna do that for a few reasons. The first reason being that, you know, February has less days and even though this February is a leap year, I mean 
it, it has 29 days i still don't want to push myself too much because i don't want to make it feel like a chore basically in my mind my number is still going to be 100 i think that until i reach that um, amount of hours that's gonna be like my goal at the top of my head but for now I would be like completely thrilled if I could reach the same amount of hours or something close to the amount of hours that I could work on diamond painting um, in February. Now, I am not making this like an exactly goal that I have to meet. It's just a sort of way to track my progress and to track how much I work on them, how much it takes every kit and all of that. And it's just, you know, an interesting thing if you want to make it a little bit challenging, but, you know, or, or it's just tracking just to know yourself and your craft absolutely fine so i think those are the only two things that i'm going to be um kind of focusing on or trying to make happen but again if they don't happen it's not the end of the world and yeah those are my finishes of this month oh no oh my god i almost forgot something that i wanted to tell you <laughs> let me bring it over so my final count of this month were three finishes and a whip um but i also also have to introduce one lost and found item and that is that is once upon a december and this kit um the last time that i went to my to my hometown to my mom's house i brought it with me because my sister really wanted to work on this because she had been um some previous days in my house and she was really entertained with this and i i actually told you in a video that i genuinely thought that we had finished this but it turns out that we didn't <laughs> we have this um, space left which you know considering now the size of the canvases that i've done it's not a big size at all i could finish it maybe today even so this is another goal for this month. Um, I am not going to count this towards my finishes of February or towards my finishes of 2024 because um, I thought this was this was already completed and I counted it towards last year. So, you know, I might just count the amount of time that I work on this, but that's it. Just you, just to have like a, a statistic because I do track the amount of time that I work on each of the canvases separately just to know, you know, the time of each individual canvas. This one, of course, I cannot have the entire time, the entire, yeah, the entire hours that I'm going to be working on this, but just in general timing, diamond painting, I am going to be tracking how long it takes me to finish this. But yeah, I'm not going to count it towards my finishes of February if I ended up working on this, um, which I think I definitely will, or my finishes on 2024. And now with that, now it is a wrap up, it's actually a wrap up of January 2024 um, regarding diamond painting. Now regarding my channel, I am dumbfounded to be honest. I created this channel um, on September, but I didn't do anything with it. Um, actually, I uploaded a video regarding other things that I wanted to do. And at the end, I deleted that video and I decided um, at the end of December of 2023, start uploading diamond painting videos, basically. And I could not have imagined that in the lapse of, you know, a month and a week, which is kind of the amount of time that I've been uploading videos, I would have almost 400 subscribers. In the last weekend chat, I remember telling you that I was very close to 300 and now I am very close to 400 in all that in just a week which is absolutely amazing and I love it and one of my videos got a lot of um, views and some comments and that is what um, I am really looking forward in this community to to have like a conversation about certain topics and stuff um, being diamond painting being other stuff like uh, buying as as ethically as you can if you want to get budget canvases you know those are like the few things that i've done so far and i'm really really enjoying it and i'm really looking forward to just keep doing videos and keep sharing this hobby that yeah i just yeah i just love it <laughs> so now it is a wrap up i am so sorry for that last bit at the end where honestly i thought i was done but 
I wasn't really. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any comments, questions, or anything, make sure to leave them down in the um, in the comments. Um, if you would like to see more content like this, or if you like my way of just you know going through diamond paintings and stuff in general. Uh, make sure to subscribe and again thank you so much for watching and see you later bye <laughs>